So we all know how to make images in mid-journey that look amazing, that look like this or like this. There is another tool that takes these images to the next level and makes them moving. This tool is called the Leapix Converter and it's a free image processor that enables instant conversation of 2D images to 3D images. So you will get moving images that are next level that take the mid-journey art a step further. So it's fairly easy to set it up. First step is just to sign in with Google. After signing in, you are right away in the tool. So on the left, you can upload the picture and you can either do it by pressing upload or you can have your folder ready and just pull it in the tool. I'm just gonna take an image that I created with Midjourney, which is this zombie cat. And as you can see right away, it's already 3D and moving, but it's not fully optimized yet. We can change a couple of things. So on the left, you have animation length. If I would make it longer, the animation will go slower because it needs to fill the video with the same movement. I think three seconds is a nice middle ground. So here we have the animation style. Now it's doing a wide circle, so you see it's going around, but we can also do it horizontally. If we do horizontal, we just get a movement from left to right. You also have a circle, a tall circle, and only vertical. I think a wide circle is okay for this one. It, uh, it looks good. Amount of motion, so you can make it go faster, but you see a bit of the fragments behind it. And again, if you would put this on faster, but you would make the time longer, it goes slower again. So you can play with it like this. The final point is the focus point. So if you do it close, it will focus really on the beginning and move the stuff behind it. If you're gonna do center, it moves more of the whole image and far, it really starts moving on the back. So I like to just use it on the center. Uh, and here you have your animation length, wide circle, regular and center. And after that you have your image and you can share it because this is not all. So you can share it in a couple of ways. You can save it as a GIF, so you can just send it everywhere or use it wherever you want. Save as MP4 even, so you can use it in videos like how I showed it in this video. Okay, so now I want to show something else than a portrait. This is a house with a view that I made in mid-journey. You can see this is not looking very nice, so we have to change this. And I think with a house, because you're looking through a window, a horizontal one would be better, or even a vertical. Then you really get the depth of field. And still it's a bit blurry. Maybe I can change the focus point to center. Looks a bit less, and maybe also a bit less faster. Now you just have a very nice sense of depth and it's very cool to see your images come to life. You can also do this with real pictures of yourself. This image right here, I used to create some art in mid-journey that I can show to you after. But as you can see, it doesn't look too best because the background is super wide. So the sense of depth is not really there. So even if you do a wide circle or if you change the subjects, it is still not quite there. So it doesn't work with all images but it definitely works with a lot. You just have to make sure you have a bit of a contrast behind front and background. So I use this image and I received this image from Midjourney. And this one looks really good. I have it in the banner of my YouTube channel. I really like it. But here you really have the sense of depth. You really have someone on the front and someone on the back. This one, I like the center and even a tall circle. Maybe you really got the sense of depth. And you will always have a little bit of blurring going around, but yeah, that's just part of it. It still looks so cool because first you create something amazing, mid-journey feels amazing. And then with this tool, you can even go a step further and it becomes even more amazing. You know, it becomes, it goes to life. This is another one I created with mid-journey and this is a bit more abstract, but you can see you also have really, uh, you really have subjects in the foreground and a background that when I created this image, it already felt like a new universe, you know, a new world. But when you use this tool, it really comes to life. And actually with this one, maybe far would even be better because you have a bit more stability. And if I would do close, you see that the subject moves more. Then I also have this zombie kind of thing that I created. This one really jumps at you. This one, this one is just very nice. And 
You see the difference with this one and the picture of me is that the background is just very different to it. It has, has more option to put something behind and put something in front of it. This is another image I made with Midjourney. A lot of tearing going on, a lot of pixels just moving. But I do just li really like this image and you see it's popping from the background. You really have the character in front and the rest is behind it. And yeah, it's just a very cool tool. That is how you animate your images and bring your pictures to life with Leia Pix. And honestly, it's free. It's in your browser, you know. You can just plug in whatever image you have. So I don't know why you wouldn't do it. You know, it's so fun to play around with. And you can just download it very easily and share it with people. And I think this is so much fun. If you want to find a mid-journey like tool, but that is totally free, I have a video on that as well. That's right here. Otherwise, subscribe. I will make a lot more content.